I decided to become a trainee approved mental health professional or AMHP um, because I really wanted to kind of further my career as well as being able to um, kind of gain further academic study but also when I was offered the trainee AMHP post it really just sounded too good to kind of turn down it was a, a really supportive post and it meant that I would be able to um, take the time I needed to be able to focus on that without having a caseload um, and it meant that I would be um, working with other AMHPs and shadowing them before I actually went on to the training which I thought was a, a really supportive and useful role initially um, and I ended up doing that for quite a while which was good because it gave me a lot more experience before I did the training. Um, I also I decided that that was the path I wanted to follow because it's one of those roles it's quite a, a rare and uh, unique role in mental health because it's um, it's autonomous from um, everybody else and it really gives you an opportunity to make independent decisions and uh, use your own knowledge of the law to um, support people uh, and provide a social perspective in, in what can often be medically led profession because um, mental health is usually led by doctors and nurses um, and it's, it's really useful um, and necessary to have a social perspective in there as well and by being an AMHP it's quite a powerful role um, and it means that as you're autonomous and you're independent you can't be told you know what to do um, and it means that you can um, challenge where necessary and make sure that you're getting the best outcomes for the patient.